Roosevelt verlangt endlich die Bereitwilligkeit in die Zusicherung zu geben, dass die deutschen Streitkräfte das Staatsgebiet folgender unabhängiger Nationen nicht angreifen und er nennt Finnland, Lettland, Litauen, Estland, Norwegen, Schweden, Dänemark, Niederlande, Belgien, Großbritannien, Irland, Frankreich, Portugal, Spanien, die Schweiz, Liechtenstein, Luxemburg, Polen, Ungarn, Rumänien, Jugoslawien, Russland, Bulgarien, Türkei, Irak, Arabien, Syrien, Palästina, Ägypten. Adolf Hitler is best remembered for his very angry public speeches among other things, but with footage like this, showing Hitler having a chat with the former British Prime Minister David Lloyd George, or this one with the former United States President Herbert Hoover, or this one with the British King, King Edward, we can only wonder and ask ourselves, did Hitler spoke or understood English language? What other language did he know? Welcome to the Citizen Network, and today we are going to talk about how fluent was Hitler in other languages. This question has been asked by a lot of people since the end of the Second World War, and even though Hitler claimed to be unable to speak or understand other languages, this claim has been dismissed by memoirs written by his former secretaries and his inner circle members. Well, Hitler kept very few people around him at all time, they were known as the inner circle, many of whom claimed that not only did the Fuhrer spoke and understood English, but he also spoke and understood French. Wait, but how fluent was he in these languages, and how did he manage to learn them? The French language was the lingua franca or common language in Europe during the 19th and 20th century, and in those days the French language was taught all over European schools including Hitler's home country Austria, and even though we all know Hitler didn't take his subjects serious, he must have learned some few things, also Hitler served in France during the First World War, it has been said by historians and Hitler's close friends that he had an excellent memory. Albert Speer, a young architect, who later became the Minister of Armament during the war year was a very close member of Hitler's inner circle. As a matter of fact, Albert Speer said, if Hitler had a friend, it would have been him. According to his very well-detailed famous memoir titled, Inside the Third Reich, Albert Speer narrates events and up-close stories about the Third Reich and things we didn't know about Hitler himself, and one of them being the fact that the Führer could actually speak English. In page 272 of his memoir, he talked about an occasion where Hitler addressed some group of workers and said, he went on to say that this new job represented a great sacrifice on my part, a statement which did not have much meaning in view of the critical situation. He expected not only cooperation on their part but also fair treatment behave toward him like gentlemen, he said, employing the English word, which he rarely used. This claim was later supported by Hitler's personal secretary Christa Schroeder in her memoir titled, He Was My Chief, she said, Hitler seemed able to follow a conversation in English or French if it was not spoken to quickly but explained. She claimed Hitler said, I have not made the effort to be fluent in foreign language because in talks with foreigners, every word counts. While my interpreter translates, I gain time to think of new appropriate ways to phrase a thing. And according to interviews and memoirs from his other inner circle members, they claimed during the Second World War years, in other to be able to keep up with what was going on in the enemy's country, English and French newspaper became part of Hitler's daily media reads and he needed no interpreter to translate them to him. Hitler definitely wasn't fluent in English and French but he understood and could speak them to a certain extent. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and check out our channel for more videos.